So I thought we'd have a bit of a brief interlude in the whole technique thing. We've had a bunch of comments all asking, well, two things. Scott, why are you playing a five string now? So I thought I'd address that. And then secondly, asking about this bass. Do you know when you find a bass and you feel at home with it? You feel sort of like it's an extension of who you are. I've been getting that relationship with this bass. In terms of the bass itself, it is an F bass. And this model is called the BN5. And it's kind of like that 70s uh, jazz bass kind of style. It's got that, you know. <laughs> It's a maple neck, so if I spin it over, you can see a maple neck. Scale length, it's actually not a 34 inch scale. <gasps> it's 34.5. Now the electronics itself are dead simple. It's just like a jazz bass, but with an EQ added. So first of all, when I'm doing that whole slap bass thing, you know, that whole slap bass thing. What I'm doing with EQ there in general is just the neck pickup wide open, the bridge pickup wide open, and the tone wide open. Okay, so everything wide open. I'm gonna get to the EQ in, in a bit, right? When I'm going for that kind of like more tighter, some people call it that Jacko thing, but I'm, I'm not sure it's exactly like that. I'd take the neck pickup completely off, um, bridge pickup all the way on, and then the tone control. <laughs> The tone control, I'm kind of sort of like riding it like you would do in an organ, right? Sometimes it's wide open, sometimes it's all the way off like that. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of like halfway open, which would be this. Like that kind of thing, and then sometimes it's all the way open. That sounds great, and that's the bridge and the tone all wide open there. And then finally, sometimes I put the neck pickup all the way on, bridge pickup all the way off. Okay, sometimes like that, sometimes 50% off on the tone. And then sometimes all the way off. That kind of thing, right? Now, the thing that I mentioned earlier about the EQ that I actually stole from Rich Brown, shout out to Rich Brown and the Brownstone. You should definitely check out his YouTube channel. You should definitely check out Rich's courses over on SBL as well. Watch his video. And he was like, oh, the bass, I have it all the way up. And then the mid, I have it all the way up. And then the treble, I have all the way off. I, and he said that, I was like, what? All the way up? So I was like, okay, let's, you know, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's go check it out on the, on the F bass. So I got the F bass out, and it sounded killer. So what I do personally is I take it to around, so the bass around 80%, mid to around 80% and the treble all the way off. And that's what's giving me that, you know, that sound. Yeah. Um, and then in terms of, you do have stuff like you can make it into a passive bass or you've got hum cancelling um, pickups as well. I actually just keep, I just don't mess with any of that because sort of like too many controls gives me sort of like anxiety, right? I just try and, I'm keeping it simple, keeping it simple. Now, finally, I also wanted to mention the body shape as well. The bass hangs a little bit that way. If you're one of those players that enjoys this kind of, you know, this sort of like classical guitar posture, posture this F bass uh, body style is gonna be wicked for you. If you're one of these players, that plays more like this, there's definitely gonna be a little bit of a learning curve because that, that body is gonna be further out that way. Uh, the neck's gonna be further in. So it's not gonna feel like it's a huge scale length. It's gonna be like, you know, 30, it's gonna feel like a 34, but this hand actually is gonna be a little more out there. And if you look on sort of like really popular forums as well online, there's a lot of people that talk about that body shape. Like, do you like that classical style position? 
Because if you do, that might be great for you, this, this particular body shape. I'm just having like a bit of a brain gasm at the minute. I'm like, oh, I can actually tie this back to technique. You know, I'm doing all of these videos because in the celebration of the 26 week technique accelerator course that I've released, it's open for enrollment right now. If you want to check it out, the link is down in that description. I would love for you to come and be a part of what we're putting together. It's a really, really cool program. Get to work with me for six months, me for six months. So if you're thinking, if you're pissed off by me at this point in the video, don't check it out. If you've got a good vibe and you're like, I could learn from this guy, hit that link below and check it out. But let me tie it back to technique, right? So when you're sitting with your base, be aware of like, have you got it on your knee, on your right knee? And if you have, make sure that you're not doing this, that flat to the body thing, right? That's crap. You do not want to be playing with your base flat to your body like that. It's dead easy to do, but when you come up here, your body's in the way, you can't actually, and when you come up here above the 12th fret, it's gonna feel like a mess. So what you wanna do is actually push that neck out like that, right? So I'm straight to the camera right now, but my base is like at a 45 degree angle. Across my body, which means as I come up the neck here, you know, I can get all the way up there and I'm not kind of like contorting my body into a, a like a, a super weird position, okay? So that's the first thing. And then finally, you should definitely experiment with this posture as well. You know, guys that use this would be um, Gary Willis is the OG, Hadrian Ferro, Yannick Guizdala, all of those guys play in this kind of position, classical guitar style position, because it gives you a couple of interesting things. First of all, the wrist is gonna be a lot straighter, so it's gonna be better for your body. And then with this hand here, you're also gonna be able to go all the way up here and you're not gonna be hitting your side, but you can have your bass flatter to the body. Check that out. Okay. Oh. oh, just like that. Anyway, dudes, hopefully you've enjoyed the uh, the gear, the gear interlude. If you have, let me know in the comments and I will see you tomorrow. Obviously, check out the 26 week technique accelerator program. If you haven't already, it closes for enrollment very soon. It's open once a year and this is it. I would love for you to check it out. And uh, other than that, I will see you tomorrow on my celebration of bass technique. Take it easy, I'll see you in the shed.